Spec-driven development is going to be a future for building AI software rather than using vibe coding. On my channel, I have made tons of video on spec-driven development, and one of them was using Tracer. And Tracer here just recently released this new feature called YOLO mode, which will basically start to automatically do the planning, automatically do the coding, verification across all three phases with zero hand-holding. We're going to have Tracer here to build our entire applications completely from scratch. And not only that, I'm also going to show you the YOLO mode here to basically automatically follow this process to build our applications and also add additional features or changes onto our applications so that we can be able to see the power of spec-driven development YOLO mode from Tracer. So for demonstration for this video, we're going to build this YouTube extractor, which will extract all the comments and all the sub comments from my YouTube channel using Python here and eventually extract all the data or comments or sub comments all from YouTube, add them onto Superbase. So with that being said, if you're interested, let's get into it. All right, so to test out the feature, first thing first, what we're gonna do is to basically create a project, right? So here you can see I have opened a VS Code project, which is an empty project here. You can see it's called YT Extractor, which the goal here is to basically build an interactive command line tool in Python to scrape all the comments and replies from a specific YouTube channel. So basically the goal here is that we're gonna input a YouTube channel link, and then we're going to extract the channel ID then we're going to use that to basically call the API to get all the comments and also all the sub comments from all the YouTube video from that channel. So basically that's going to be the prompt. And a lot of you guys are asking about the prompt for how I'd be able to use that to build things. So this is going to be the prompt and I will attach that inside of the coding projects for this repository here. So now what we're going to do is basically to use the YOLO mode from Tracer to basically build our project, right? So what we're going to do now is basically click on Tracer here inside of our VS Code. But if you don't have one, feel free to navigate to your extensions or marketplace in a VS Code and basically search for Tracer and install that application from there. And once you have this installed, basically this is what it looks like after we have our Tracer open. And here you can see that we have three modes, right? Or three step process to build our applications. And to really give you a recap on how those three step process work, basically we have phases, plan, and also review mode. And what we have here is that we're gonna break our project into different phases or different sections. And for each section, we're gonna pass it to a plan mode to basically plan out a to-do list on how the coding agent here is gonna build this application. And once the coding agent here is done the building, then we're gonna have the tracer here review mode to basically review the code changes that it made and be able to verify everything before we proceed to the next step and what yolo mode here does is that yolo mode is going to basically automate this process by simply having the yolo mode automatically plan automatically build and automatically review before it move on to the different phases here so that's what we're going to try to do and that's what we're trying to demonstrate in this video and basically the goal here is that we're going to pass this prompt right here that we have so i'm just going to use the file reference here so it's going to be a file reference we're we're gonna reference that for the prompt. So that's gonna be the prompt.md file. So here I'm just gonna click on this and here I'm just gonna say do this and send the request. So here you can see that Tracer here is gonna plan out for this project by reading through what we have inside of our prompt. Okay, so now you can see that Tracer here has break down our project, fully understand everything. And here you can see that these are all the different phases or all different sections um, that we're gonna perform in this project. So here, if I were to click on show breakdown, you can see that these are all different phases or different sections. So first thing first, we're gonna set up the project infrastructure and YouTube API integrations. And there's also the implements, the channel URL parsing, and also the state management. So pretty much you can see that we have break it down into different phases. And here you can see that we have our YOLO mode, which will basically start to complete everything step by step. So in this case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the YOLO mode here, and I'm just gonna start the YOLO mode for each phase and each phase is gonna go through what we just mentioned about the planning, about the building and the review phase. So I'm just gonna have it to use the planning agent here to use clock code and also the verification agent here to use clock code as well. And you can also change it up as well. So here you can see there's configuration execution settings. So I can be able to change that to with different agents if you have a different agents. All right, so now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna click on the start YOLO mode and it's basically gonna to start to do the planning and the building reviewing for each phase that we have here. All right, so it looks like we have used the YOLO mode here, have completed three phases so far. And one of the phases was implementing the main comment extraction loop with processing the tracking and the air handling. So here you can see that it's asking for permissions to edit things. So I'm just gonna click on yes to continue on that. So pretty much that's how we can be able to loop through the entire process using the YOLO mode here. So go through the phases, going through each phase and going through the plan, the build and the review, and then back to the planning for each phase. And pretty much you can see that's how we can be able to get everything completed all in one with just one single click. All right, so here you can see that this is what the application looks like after we have run the entire 
uh, spectral developments using the YOLO mode from the Tracer here. So this is the readme file, which is basically you can see this the project overview, which is the introductory. So how you can be able to quick start, right? So first thing first, you're going to activate the uh, virtual environment. So let's follow this documentation. So I'm just going to open a terminal here to test it. So here I'm just going to activate the environment first. And then here I'm just going to first thing first install all the dependencies from the requirements.txt. So you can see that everything is up to date. Awesome. And basically you can run the extractor here. And before you do so, you also wanted to configure your API keys. So here you can see that it creates the .env.example file, which basically we simply just pass the API key and it tells you exactly how you can be able to get the API key from Google Cloud. And simply once you get the key, input it into the .env file, which is exactly clone a version of this, but the file name is gonna be .env. And then here you can see if we were to scroll down, here you can see that this is the exact command that we can use to run this project or run the script inside of our command line mode. All right, so in this case, inside of our terminal, I'm just gonna use python3 main.py. Here I'm specify the channel, which is this the URL for my channel, and it's gonna scrape all the comments and output it onto the output folder right here. So I'm just gonna run this, and let's see what it does. So here you can see that it found 141 total videos in the channel. And what's really cool for this terminal um, interactive session is that you can see here it shows a progress bar, right? Which is really cool. Like how many videos has been processed? So currently it has processed 30 videos out of 141 videos. Awesome. So in this case, let's wait for a bit until it fully processes everything. All right, so now you can see that it has processed everything. And here you can see that we have all the videos and all the comments are extracted for all the videos on its channel. So 141 videos, and these are all the comments are being extracted and these are all the sub comments and where the data is being saved also the current usage and also remaining usage um, based on the current uh, api keys that we have so what we can do now is we're going to basically try to see what our data look like instead of outputs so here i'm just going to open the output folder and here this is going to be one of them so here you can see we have the comments.json and also the sub comments.json so there are the sub comments and also the date post the sub comments so pretty much you can see that all the sub comments are extracted based on this and there's also the comments, the main comments that we have from each video, right? So all the videos right here, you can see we have the video link, the date post for the comments and also like count. Um, so here you can see there's also one video which has one like count, which is really cool, right? So pretty much you can see that we are able to have this data output onto the JSON. All right, so once we have our initial application built, let's try to use YOLMO here to build on top of it, right? So here you can see that we have navigated to Tracer and what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to build our application on top of it. So now what I wanna do is basically build on top of this application and simply by calling Subase MCP server to basically set up the table and also be able to insert all those records onto the table based on this application so far. So in this case, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna send this request and here, um, Tracer here should be able to plan out how this works and let's see what it does. All right, so now you can see that we have the result. Here you can see that Tracer asked me some serious questions to basically define our plan for how we're gonna build on top of this existing application. So here you can see that we have total four questions. So one is the MCP server setup to see if we have this already set up in our IDE. And the other one is how the table schema look like and the data flow. So basically when the data will be inserted into Superbase, in this case, we wanna have a separate script that reads the JSON files and upload them instead. And then there's also additional fields that it recommends like the ID or the channel ID to track each comments that we have. So in this case, we're gonna say yes to both of them. And here are my replies. Of course, I will also add my credentials for the MCP server for Subbase inside of this comments. All right, so here you can see for what I did here is I basically attached the prompt, which is the Subbase prompt.md file, which is all the answers that I just answered uh, in the markdown file. And what I did here is I'm just gonna say, please read this. Please read this for the response. And then I'm just gonna send this to Tracer and here it's gonna plan out for different phases. All right, so now you can see that it plan out for different phases. So here I'm just gonna click on show breakdown and here you can see that first thing first, we're gonna configure the Subbase MCP server in Clocko CLI. And then there's also the Cray Subbase database schema for the comments table implement the Subbase upload script for the JSON data. So pretty much a very simple three-step process. So in this case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually click on the YOLO mode here and let it try to execute everything all in one here. So here I'm just gonna click on YOLO mode and it's gonna start to do the planning and building, reviewing everything. All right, so now you can see that we have everything completed with one single prompt here. And what I did here is I also run the command to upload to Superbase, which is this Python file right here. And basically you can see that inside of our Superbase, I have grant its access and basically using the Superbase MCP here to create the table, to create the schema, everything for the sub comments and also the comments right here. So we have our channel ID, also the comments, the video title, the video link, 
the date post as well as the comment ID from YouTube, right? And we're gonna use that to reference the sub comments, related sub comments from the sub comments uh, table. So you can see that we have our channel ID, the sub comments, and also the parent comment ID, which is gonna be the uh, comments from what we have here, right? So that's gonna be the comments ID from YouTube that we scraped. And we're gonna reference that for each sub comments that we have. And then here we have our video title, we have our video ID, and the date post co sub comments, the like counts, created dates, the YouTube sub com uh, the YouTube comment ID for each of those sub comments, which you can see here, right? So pretty much that's how we can be able to use this, right? So pretty much we can be able to use that to scrape all the data and be able to output it and interact with our database, which is really cool. And of course, in terms of the repository here, I also have made this repository public so that you can be able to see the uh, initial prompts that I set to run this project using the tracer. And of course, the um, entire readme files here. So the readme file, which contains the setup for the quick start, also the prerequisites and everything else. So if you're interested, you can check that out. So pretty much that's how we can be able to use Tracer here to build our applications using YOLO mode, not just for new projects, but also for existing project where we want to add new features or add additional changes on top of it. So pretty much that's how we can be able to use it. And that's pretty much it for this video. And if you do find value in this video, please make sure to like this video, consider subscribe for more content like this. But with that being said, I will see you in this video.